What's up, y'all? I'm Chase Rice, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. Celeb Secrets is backstage here, and we're hanging out again with Chase Rice. How are you doing? Good, good. Good to see you. You too. Well, what's been going on? It, it's been a minute. It has been a minute. Yeah. Uh, a lot of good, man. I just hung on my farm a lot last year. I okay. hung out with uh, some hockey buddies. We all became real close, some military friends. We actually had a family dinner last week for the first time since kind of things started getting rolling. Yeah. And we do them every week last year. So sometimes two or three nights a week. So, man, it's, it's cool to see life getting back to normal. Yeah. But a lot of the aspects of last year that were healthy and good for me um, have drugged their way into my life this year. So it's been good. Totally. And we're back playing live shows. Uh, You're here at the Toby's iHeart on Coaching right now. Festival. I'm like, I hell yeah, know, Toby, let's I go. Know. How exciting is it to finally be back on stage? It's good. Um, we played one earlier. That was fun. Some of the shows, it's hit or miss. Some of the shows are still, people are still in those towns, maybe scared of COVID or whatever. I don't know. Mm -hmm. but. Um, and then some of them are absolute blown out insanity. So yeah. you never know what you're going to get tonight. I think it'll be the latter. I was going to say, I, I think yeah. it's going to be a good night tonight. Yeah. Are you going to be singing your new song that just came out? We sang it earlier. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. We got. We don't have a very long set. I think it's about 20 minutes. So right. um, we're going to do a little drinking beer, talking God. I'm probably going to shotgun a beer on stage. Okay. Why not? Um, How could you not? Uh, it's Texas. You yeah, know? I know. That, he's my tour manager. He always brings out a cooler. Okay. And he said, I think I'm gonna bring out enough for you and the other person you're shotgun with. Cause he knows if it's cooler full, I'm gonna be tossing them out. Yeah. And uh, I don't think you're allowed to do that here. So <laughs> he's gonna keep me out of trouble. But I wanna hear more about if I were rock and roll, maybe like yeah. the writing recording process. How was that for you? Cause you did it yourself, you wrote it yourself. Yeah, um, I wrote it myself one night, just kind of last year, I kind of hit a wall and just needed to get away from noise. And that night I'm sitting there bored as hell. Um, so I'm like, all right, I watched the Springsteen documentary called Letter to You. Mm -hmm. And he has a song on there called If I Was a Priest. And so my immediate thought was if I were Jesus. I don't know why, I didn't know what it meant. Um, if I were rock and roll, kind of led the charge for the chorus. Um, I just want to talk about all these things that were a huge part of my life. Totally. From Arnhardt to my grandpa, to, uh, to Jesus, to yeah. rock and roll. From the good to the bad, um, I kind of, and I didn't have anybody there to tell me no, which was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or tell me, no, this is more hitty. It's like, forget about a hit, man. I just want to write a good song that's me. Yeah. Um, and it turns out it's my next single. So hopefully it becomes a hit. But yeah. I recorded it with Jay Joyce, um, who's my favorite producer of all time. So totally. he, he's, it was awesome to work with him. He absolutely crushed it. It sounds different than any I've ever done, but yeah. that's on purpose. You know? yeah, We're totally. not trying to. I've gone down those roads before. It, my music's been a little more pop than I ever wanted it to be. And that was just because I didn't know any better and it just went that way, but yeah. it ain't gonna happen no more. Totally, so. and how's the new music for you? I feel like, you know, time at home, you were probably writing wow. a ton. I didn't in 2020, 2021, I started writing a, a lot. Um, that's when rock and roll was my uh, first song I wrote really last year, and it was in December. Um, so it's been awesome, we got a plan. We're, I think we're gonna record my next record in my living room at my okay. house and at my farm in Tennessee. So I think we're gonna do that. It's gonna be chill. It's not gonna be 10 o'clock start. It's gonna be like some days, hey, y'all will see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Yeah. Be prepared to go till 3 a.m. Like, <laughs> be prepared to be drunk, be yes. whatever you gotta be, but we're gonna come up with something crazy for this song. So for sure. there's gonna be no rules and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun to see what happens. Love that for you. Now I know you have a new project that you're working on right now. You have a venue in Ohio, and that's really yeah. close to you. Um, can you talk to us about that and you know how everything's been going with that? Yeah, it's uh, it's called Welcome to the Farm. That's what I kind of kind of call my farm in Tennessee. It's called Twin Eagles Creek Farm. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. I just kind of tell I was gonna have a sign. I think I told the people that were um, talking to me about this bar. Uh, I said, man, I just kind of want a sign that says Welcome to the Farm. So that's a hell of a bar name. Yeah. Like, all right, I didn't know that, but cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's called Welcome to the Farm. It's got a Buffalo logo, the same logo that is my farm logo in Tennessee. Um, we're gonna have a big Buffalo head. We're gonna have a lot of antlers in there. Awesome. We're gonna have elk heads. We're gonna have everything that my farm looks like. Yeah. It's gonna be in there. So if you don't like animals on the wall, don't come. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I haven't seen it done yet. They're putting okay. in cement and flooring and all that right now, but. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's a good group of people. They have a place called Ford and uh, Goodnight John Boys in, in Cleveland. So they, they got experience there. They know the city. And uh, there's no real country bar in Cleveland, which yeah. is shocking because there's a lot of country people in Cleveland. Totally. So. And it's a fun project for you to do, something yeah. you know outside the music. Exactly. And it's my farm. I mean, if, if it was me trying, them trying to get me to do something that I didn't care about, I'd have said no. But it's I just get to recreate my place in Ohio, which is cool. Totally. 
Absolutely. Now I want to talk about the Kane Brown tour. No. You guys are going out next year, basketball venues. Mm. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm not a basketball fan, but okay. I'm excited for arenas. I okay. like I like playing yeah. places like this. Um, we've came up in all these cities we're playing in, from Boston, New York, to wherever else we are. We're all over the place. Yeah. Um, but we came up in all those cities in smaller bars than, you know, uh, what do you call them, I guess, what, the theaters? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've done all of them. So now it's time to step it up. And, and Kane and I have known each other a long time, so it'll be a good tour. Kane and I's music is not very similar at all, which yeah. is a cool thing to me. It's like... Yeah. We'll get a taste of different versions of country music that night. It'll be awesome. awesome. I love that. Well, Chase, it was so great to see you. Good to Thank see you. Thank you so much.